Hello guys, welcome back to Mornings with Granny. I hope everyone's doing okay. I wanna go over some mail first that I received. This is from Lynn in Pennsylvania. I went to Pennsylvania many, many years ago with a friend of mine to see her family. Beautiful place. We went to, I think it's Oil City. This is from Mary in Wisconsin. And then we have, this is from Paula in Maryland. And let's see, Paula put a couple of pictures in. Kermit, I think we've all watched Kermit, either when we were smaller or with our children. And this is Sean and Botzer from England, the sheep, sheep and the dog. Thank you, Paula, thank you for thinking about me. And then we have, let's see, always good to hear from you guys. This is from Angie, and Angie's in my neighboring state in North Carolina. Thank you, Angie. And then we have a package, and this is from Josephine, and Josephine's in North Carolina. And she sent some items that she crocheted. Let's see. She sent some, let me read it, uh, reusable dishcloths, face scrubbies, and a cover for the Swiffer. And also a crocheted bag, you do great work. This is a Swiffer cover. And then she's got also some dishcloths in here. And then some little face scrubbies. And they're all machine washable. See? Thank you. And then this is like a little purse. See? And then look at this bag. This is a good bag to take to the beach or the grocery store. Thank you. You do excellent work. And she also sent, let's see, this is uh, see the cross on it. It says, this pocket prayer cloth is meant to bring you comfort by symbolizing God's great and powerful love for us. By remembering the cross, have a conversation with our Lord Jesus Christ while accepting his promises to live a believer's life, inside and out. Amen. And then it has Romans fifteen thirteen on the back. It says, may the God of hope fill you with joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you so much, Josephine. And then she put them in this bag. All reusable stuff. Thank you so much. Always love hearing from you guys. Makes my day when I go to the post office and I get to hear from you. All right, Gizmo. Took Gizmo back to the vet. I told you you had to go back. And I got a little aggravated, but I bit my tongue. He still had, she said, 80% of the bacteria in his ears. She asked me, had I been doing what she said? She said, as he's taking the oral antibiotic. I said, you didn't give him one. She said, yes, I did. What happened was when the technician got the stuff together, she didn't put his oral antibiotic in there, and they didn't bill me for it, so I didn't know that it was missing. So, because of that mistake, I've got to keep doing the same thing I was doing for two more weeks as far as putting cleaner and uh, ear medicine in, giving him an oral antibiotic, and continue with his allergy medicine. So... Supposed to go back in two weeks. Hopefully, it will be gone this time. I think if he had been taking the oral antibiotic like he was supposed to, probably would have been gone. But that was their mistake. Um, so anyway, we'll see. See how it does. I went to the store this morning. And... Uh, before I tell you this, let me tell you something else. I just forgot. Someone had remarked, several people remarked about my decluttering. And yes, I'm still doing it. 
I had got rid of the thousand. I showed you that. And this month I have got rid of 175 more things. So I'm, I'm aiming for 1500. I'm not through yet. I'm doing, like I said, writing it on my calendar so I can keep up with it each month. So I'll keep you posted month to month. But anyway, back to the store. I went into Food Lion this morning just to look around and see prices because someone had said they had paid $9.99, $9.99 for five pounds of red potatoes. And then one person said they had paid $7.99 for three pounds of red. I don't remember looking at the red potatoes, but I did look at the russet potatoes. The russets were five pounds for $5.99 and the 10 pound bag was $6.99. So they have went up, but not as much as where these people live at. And then I looked at eggs, and I sent my sister a picture of the eggs because we've been talking back and forth about how high prices are. I mean, the gas is cheaper than it was. It's still higher than it was a couple years ago, but our gas is at 3, it was 3.08, it's 3.13, I believe, right now. But anyway, the eggs... For 30 eggs was $7.09. I didn't get any. I don't particularly like eggs that well. Anyway, I will eat them, but I don't have to have them. So I just kept on walking. So then I went to the discount store in the town I live in. And they had butter. Well, you know, guys, I am stocked up on butter but it was a dollar a pound. So I picked up some for myself and some other family members. And let's see what the date. The date is, uh, the date just passed on here. The Best Buy date was 8 9 22. So that's okay. It's still good. Put it in the freezer, it'll be fine. So I picked up, um, 13 pounds because I text certain people and ask them if they wanted some and they said yes. So I got 13 pounds of it. I didn't see anything else in there that was really that good. Uh, if you have kids, they had the um, Tampico uh, juice. It was like a berry juice. The I think it was a half gallon. It might have been a gallon. I'm not sure. I think it was a gallon. It was one of those big plastic, like the water bottles. I think it was a gallon. Uh, for a dollar. So that was good if you have kids. We don't drink it around here, so I didn't get any. But prices are going up. <clears throat> if you have been stocking up over the last couple of years, like we have been telling you to, then you can get to the point of where you can walk by the eggs or you can walk by the potatoes or whatever, unless you have to have them. You can wait for a sale, just like with this butter. I have enough butter. I didn't have to get this, but for a dollar a pound, I'm going to pick it up and put it in my freezer because it will keep. I've used butter that I have frozen a year past the date and it's still been good. That's up to each person how far you want to use it, but I have no problems with it. So for a dollar a pound, yes, I'll buy it. I hope they'll get another truck in soon so we can see what else they they're getting in there lately other than just basically junk food i haven't really found any good prices now we'll be going sometime in the next month or so i hope to the discount store in peltzer and that always has good prices if you watch uh, amy marion she goes and she finds some really good deals and so i hope to be going there and if I do, I'll show you uh, what I find. But anyway, thanks to all the new subscribers. I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe, and don't forget to shop those sales. And thank you guys so much for thinking about me, for writing me, for making these things for me. And I appreciate it so much. All right, guys, have a good day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.